94XO, it's Moni XO. I am hanging out with artist and creative Jay Cutter. Make sure you guys stay tuned. You're watching 94XO. So go ahead, open up a little bit about your background and what sparked your interest in wanting to be an artist. Uh, I originally just wanted to have fun when it came to my artistry. Uh, just as a kid, always wanted to be energetic and show a good time to everybody around me because I love just putting smiles on people's faces. So. Yeah. Uh, being an artist is something that's more of a lifestyle for me. I'm not going to say that I aim to be an artist. It was just kind of like I am one. You know what I'm saying? Anyone who has to define themselves as such, they, they kind of diminish themselves because it's like, yeah, I'm just doing what I'm mm -hmm. doing. If you appreciate it as art, then I'm glad. You yeah. Know? So uh, just always been an artist. You know what I'm saying? And one thing that's cool about you is, like, if somebody knows your actual background, how you grew up, you're always the funny guy. Hey. And so your creativity with that and mixing that into your brand now mm. is, like, super dope. Uh, so if people that are watching, if they've seen your video for a Stroke, yeah. you could talk about that a little more. Um, just seeing, like, how unique and different that is. So what inspired that? Uh... Honestly, what inspired it was I just wanted to have fun again. I felt like life was starting to get me down and I was going down a path like that I was just doing what I had to do to get money and yeah. just, you know what I'm saying, building things that were good in the long run, but were they really what I wanted to do? Mm -hmm. uh, so I just kind of shook it up and was like, okay, let's start having fun again. You know, be funny, be yourself, you know. Don't be an angry person because you're not doing what you want to do. Just do what you want to yeah. do and then get the joy back. So I wanted to show that I was having fun and doing my thing in the video and just put smiles again on people's faces mm -hmm. uh, because that's what I love and that's what brings me energy that was make me feel good and drives me on a daily basis. Yeah, when I saw it pop up on my timeline, I was like, I was cracking up, but not cracking, like laughing at you, but like laughing with you. Like, yeah. oh, this is super dope. Like I've never seen this type of concept before. Yeah. So people make sure you check out the video, but the whole stroke challenge. Yeah. Okay, so how did you come up with that? Everybody was telling me, this is TikTok. What? What do you mean? <laughs> like, hey, song is cold, visual cold. Put this on TikTok. Have you put it on TikTok? Have you put it on TikTok? And that was even really before I dropped the song. I played it for like four or five people. They was like, look, you need to drop this now. This is like last November. You yeah. need to drop this now and you need to throw a challenge on it. Well, if I was going to do a challenge, I wanted to make sure I released the visual mm -hmm. with it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, some people would just you know, throw the song out there, hope it builds some hype, and then shoot the video once it blows. But yep. I'm like, you know what, I can do this myself. Now talking about that, sorry to like cut you off, yeah. but like just tying into your mindset of how that is, like how important it is to market mm -hmm. and not just throw things out. Like I think people believe that, oh, I'm gonna drop this fire song. Everybody's finna like, you know, mm -hmm. listen to this. And yeah. I think it's cool that you already knew like, no, I need like strategies, it's gotta make sense. Yeah, because I have thrown things out there and you end up resenting everybody. Like, you like, dang, yeah, I just paid awesome. all this money. Yeah. <laughs> nobody is, you know what I'm saying? People appreciate you and they give you the, the, the notoriety, but you're like, dang, I, I didn't really go as far as I thought mm -hmm. I was gonna go. So I was like, okay, I gotta make sure I'm approached or approaching this with a, a, a strategy from now on. But that's also why I haven't released much music because when I released something, I wanted to make sure it was good enough that it reached far and everybody vibed with it. Because yeah. with a lot of people, you only get one chance, mm -hmm. you know? So why would I have to waste my one chance with you as a potential fan on something that's just practice? You know, I'm, I'm practicing to be perfect, but in that practice, I'm getting better. So I don't want you to see draft one. I want you to see draft three and four. And especially if you're trying to succeed on TikTok, like the way that TikTok and Reels have changed people's attention spans, um, especially like in the music industry, it's interesting. Like, you know, like you said, you get one chance. And if you fail, like you're gonna, mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll know that you failed at it. So I, I just think it's dope. Like just seeing like the stroke challenge and like seeing people like actually do it and <laughs> right. have a good time and enjoy yeah. themselves with it. So yeah. how has production been behind the scenes with the video? Like what was your favorite part about it? My favorite part about it 
was just actually shooting the video. I'm not gonna lie. The contacting people, Alex, Alex Nine Media, I've worked with him. That's such a smooth process. He's a great videographer and organizer and uh, director. Uh, sorry, director. Uh, but I don't like necessarily having to do all that myself as far as contacting everybody. Uh, but at the same time, I'm a control freak. Mm. So I would rather move the pieces in motion and on my time. Uh, but shooting an actual video was so fun because I got to just have fun. Yeah. And not think and like, okay, take direction from Alex a little bit, but also like me just naturally be goofy mm -hmm. and show people like, hey, I, I'm pretty goofy. I like being funny. Like, pay attention to me if you like. I'd like you to pay attention to me. So. Yeah. yeah. Now, what are you looking forward to for your upcoming project that you believe, I believe that you're working on? Mm. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking forward to, that's going to be the first time I think I, first of all, release a project. I think I hit in it, releasing something back in April and it just never happened. But I have all that same music and uh, I kind of took a different direction. The season pushed me somewhere else with okay. Summer coming up. It made me drop stroke. So I've got another set of four songs or so that uh, I'm about to go ahead and get mixed and tighten up and release. So that should be out easily by the end of the year it's just making sure that everything is marketed correctly uh and i'll probably be rolling out videos for the songs as they go on so i want to do a hey. video for each song you know okay. what i'm saying but i'm gonna keep pushing just the stroke video right now so that i can do each video right and give it time i like that because you're focusing on a single N nowadays you have to you have mm. to focus on one single because people will try to drop 20 song uh albums you heard me <laughs> and there's nothing yeah. wrong with that necessarily yeah. but you have to understand like if you're still upcoming especially being like an independent artist mm -hmm. it may not work and you have to be okay with like failing and trials and errors and stuff so i'm glad that you realized that and you're being very smart about it with your money absolutely <laughs> and your budget so. hey because budget matters yeah i'm not gonna lie I, I, i'm not somebody that just like makes a lot of money every year but i'm very smart about the things that i do you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and i'm like it's not about how much money you make it's about how much you don't spend Ooh. you know what i'm saying yep. <laughs> yes. exactly so and what are you going to aim like slim down do you really need this do you really need that how many times a week do i go out and spend 50 60 70 dollars easily you know what i'm saying making me feel bad because <laughs> I, I love a good meal so yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> I spend yeah. Some money on some food hey if it's your vice it's your vice hey look, you know what i'm saying now tell us a little bit about this shirt that we got in the background okay this is the legendary shirt it was designed by my homie sky rogers cold artist visual guitar singer rocker really everything you could think of mm -hmm. uh and i was like man i really like that design like i would love to share and partake in that and he was like mm, you know you could basically have it so i was like <laughs> what? okay what <laughs> all right you, you, know tell me twice. you ain't gotta tell me twice so uh i owe all the credit to him and it just felt like it described who i wanted to be like just legendary like yeah. i don't, don't want to be necessarily this person that's you know all serious about his you know thing and you know i gotta be top dog and all that stuff as long as i'm legendary that's all i care about like, i love that you know yeah so. now before we wrap up into the cause of rage our segment like let us know where can people buy your music stream your music support you follow you keep up to date with like whatever you have coming up in the future all that people can go to every platform and buy my music i have not put music on Bandcamp yet but they can go to every platform, to Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Tidal, SoundCloud, YouTube. I'm everywhere at the same at name. That's at It's J Cutter. That's at It's J Cutter. I-T-S-J-A-Y-C-U-T-T-A. So as long as you type that in, whatever website you're I'm on. I'm going to come up on everything. <laughs> you're going to figure out. You're going to see it. You, uh, I haven't fully published my website yet, but... I've got the domain name, so don't go out there and try to steal it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's like, how you do it. <laughs> I ain't got the money to build the website, Jen. I love your transparency. You're funny. <laughs> All right, my friend, let's do it. Yeah. Pick out three questions. Three questions. Ooh. I don't know what you're going to get. I don't know what I'm going to get. You know, I'm a mix. I'm, you know, because I'm extra. <laughs> so, you know, you don't trust me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. One. I got to pick them out. All it. Okay. Yeah, you can do it however you want. Uh, okay. 
Uh oh, is that two questions right there? This thin. It is. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put this one back. You then. cheat. You I'm cheating. All right, I can take this one out. <laughs> I'll take this one out. All right. Okay. What's the weirdest thing you do when you're totally alone? Talk that's PG. to myself. I'm saying, let me make sure I say that's PG. The weirdest thing, I be talking to myself so hard. I Is that like, weird though? It's to me sometimes when I catch myself acting out my consciousness, I'll be like, hmm. Now I wanna low key see what you be doing. <laughs> do it in the camera. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. No, 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 no. But I break the fourth wall a lot. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> That's a joke. Is that a man joke? No, it's not a man what joke. It's just like one of those things. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. okay. okay. Next question. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. What's your all time <laughs> favorite quotes? Mm, that's a tough one. Um, Go from the fourth wall to the favorite quote. Um, you hear me like, what? What's your all time <laughs> Favorite quotes. Uh, dang. You need your phone? <laughs> no, nah, you know what? And it's gonna be corny and cliche. It's that joint from uh, what's that basketball movie? Uh, with Love light basketball. No, nah, light skinned dude with the curly fro, and it was about them playing basketball. He was like, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are uh powerful beyond measure. Okay, uh, okay. I, okay. I don't was, know what it but is. You know it was like, that's deep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, bro, don't be like, don't be scared to shine. Like, don't be feeling like you going like people gonna feel a certain way because you shine. Like, yeah. give yourself permission to be great. Facts. Do yeah. it for you, not everybody yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what makes you anxious? Ooh, see, that's a good segue into this question. What makes you anxious? Like, what do other people think? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, 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 if I do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are they gonna think this? Or like, are you okay? Like being in a room and like trying to control the vibes. Like, are you good? Are you good? Blah, 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 blah. That makes me anxious. Now, kind of like tying into that, I really want to ask like, how has being an artist helped you when it comes to being anxious and like conquering those type of fears? Because hmm. it's, a, I mean, it's a lot. Like you have to be this person and be okay with being in public and doing things you may not be used to doing all the time yeah so uh i would say it has allowed me to step back into the characters that i like to be i i can be many of people and i catch myself being so many different people and i just defining still who i am just as just one person yeah but uh as an artist and doing my artistry it gives me the expression to not be just this one person mm -hmm. so in that anxiousness the anxiousness come from wanting people or thinking people need to or want to view me in a certain light and i should therefore be that person that they want to see me as yeah but in dropping something like stroke you know i've i've taught in the past you might have been a colleague from me being a teacher and you might not ever understood that this is also who i am mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that artistry allows me to just step out of what i think people see me as and want to keep seeing me as and just be something different and it don't matter what it is yeah so yeah. you get to just honestly be you yeah and be okay and be comfortable in your own skin absolutely i love it hey <laughs> well thank you so much i had so much fun with you yeah All i right. did with you too I i'm on the exo and we're out be All easy right. It's your girl, Moni XO, and you just finished a 94 XO interview. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media platforms. Be easy.